Um, so let me just kind of explain a little further this guy again. <clears throat> what I was thinking, because you know they got the you guys were joking about the can thing. That's fucking not funny. Anyways, <laughs> no, um, so what I was thinking with this guy is I wanted to bring him back to Darth Vader, um, make him feel like how how could I make the person understand that this is Darth Vader in a new look. And um, <coughs> part of what I did is I tried to keep some of the style, like the 70s, uh, the 70s idea of what the future looked like. Um, so that's why I kept like kind of the big lights, some of the, the same yeah. patterns that you saw in the movie. Um, and so I wanted to give him kind of like that 70s mindset of the future, as opposed to what we think now, where it's all you know, super sleek, very rounded forms. So I kind of went with that older look. Um, <coughs> Uh, again, you know, you saw these orbs up here uh, that have, you know, little lights on them and you know, they get the, the high shines. Um, I, I brought those in from the, one of the other designs I did. Uh, you guys probably know which one I'm talking about, but I'll bring it up yeah. anyways. Um, I liked elements of, of, of those other ones, and so I wanted to bring them in. Uh, and I'll tell you what I didn't like and why I didn't choose those final three that I had. <clears throat> this guy felt too much like an emperor. He felt he he, he felt too <coughs> emperor -y and not enough Darth Vader. But I like the orbs. I, I felt these orbs were cool because I could see those being kind of like um, weapons or little uh, things to make, you know, when Darth Vader fights Luke Skywalker to make it even harder. So this guy's, not only does this show a sense of unpredictability about, you know, fighting Darth Vader. Like if I was thinking about him in a game or in a movie, but it also shows like maybe he's mind controlling these things. Uh, they're not just they don't have their own AI, but like it takes even more Jedi power to, you know, harness these things and use their full uh, potential. <clears throat> so I kind of wanted to give him a little bit more of an edge. Um, and it's not just a Darth Vader with a, uh, a uh, lightsaber. Do you mean to make them look like Death Stars, or? Uh, no. I kind of, I was kind of going with the theme that I was talking about before, uh, where, you remember that, that big orb I was talking about that, you know, uh, hits Leia with the needle? Yeah. Um, kind of using that, and then um, expanding that further into like little versions of those to be his helpers, you know, so to speak, or things that he mind controls to like take out other Jedis. Um, it could be cool. I could see him fighting multiple. What if he, he could take on three or four Jedi's at once with these things? You know, these things flying all around and you know, shooting people and shit. Um, <clears throat> so I took the bigger, the bigger version of his, his kind of big orb feel um, from that original idea in the Star Wars movie, and then also brought in some little smaller versions of those to help kind of um, uh, supplement his bigger shape. So uh, I think those ideas kind of work better together anyways. This one I wasn't really, I felt it was a little too ninja-y and not enough, um, not enough veteran commander. Uh, so I kind of put this guy aside. I thought that he c could kind of be cool, but he just doesn't hit veteran commander for me enough and I wanted, I wanted to make sure I got that. Um, <clears throat> so. I minimize it with this. Small X on the oh, no. Alright, so we got this guy. So, let me, who has, uh, can I see, your creature is up on the drive, right? Okay. How do I get that? Or can I get that? Desktop. Desktop? PC well, I mean, like, yeah. Do you have any reference, by the way? Uh, on the Okay, so I don't know if you guys know about her idea. I wanted to do a quick demo on this one. Basically, uh, it sounds like the idea behind this creature is that she's kind of trying to do a wild uh, lizard like animal. Um, that's, uh, I guess a human's gonna be approximately this tall uh, in comparison, mm -hmm. but it's, it's 
it's supposed to be uh, carnivorous and, and aggressive, but at the same time it could be tamed. And so she's thinking maybe it could be like, you know, Jabba the Hutt's pet, this side or the other, am I right? Where's that? Actually, it's a little smaller. There were little thumbnails next to it. You made it too big. <laughs> oh, wait, so... The first is actually bigger than it. It's like about this? the size of... Yeah, so that'd be, like, a little bit taller. Um, I don't know. I have it right. Like, and it, I, thought the, I thought the ones you showed me, like, the guy was, like, that big. Yeah, it had another version of the creature next to it, like, all mini. Okay. Like, so, yeah, like, a guy is, like, approximately this tall. The thing is about... Probably it's about... He's right here. Yeah. Okay. So it's, like, a, like a Great Dane... Yes. Okay. <clears throat> um, so what I'm going to try to do is, I think that it's uh, my issues with it right now are that it feel uh, it feels kind of like when people think of aggressive things, they tend to slap on you know spikes and things like that that are a little expected. I want to kind of bring it back, but at the same time reserve some of the interesting silhouette that it has. So I want to bring it back. Tone it back down into reality, but at the same time preserve some of the interestingness of the silhouette, and maybe even push the silhouette further. Um, so when we think about, uh, for example, let's let's help her out here. Um, when we think about a carnivorous creature, what are things we think about? What are elements you would that would change it from an omnivorous or a, or a herbivorous creature? Teeth, teeth, big element. Sleek, eyes in the front of the head. I was in the front of the head. Yeah. What else? Um, claws. Something that grabs you right away. Claws. Which, which, thanks for bringing that up because this definitely feels. Yeah, if the bone's still too. Right. I'm thinking of a cow or like a deer or something majestic right. like that. Right. Okay. Um, the hind legs would be more spring leg. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. That definitely, yeah, because I immediately when you guys say that, when I, if I was to cover this up from, from the knees down, Definitely doesn't feel like a, a carnivore, does it? Mm -hmm. From the knees up, I would I would say that it's starting to get there as far as a carnivore goes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so what else? I think teeth, uh, eyes in the front. Yeah. Um, I think the the arms too are a little too the the forward arms mm -hmm. in the front are too too bulky and too short. They don't feel like they can lunge at something, or I mean, this is a Star Wars universe, so they can use their forearms to grab something to pull their prey closer to them. Let me see if I can kind of hone in what you're saying, like mix what you're saying with what I'm thinking. I think that this leg here, mm -hmm. and just in general, this one's a little better. It's got a little bit more of a tapering, but anything that needs to be powerful in order to pounce on another, you know, big heavy creature, has to have big muscles. Mm -hmm. Has to have um, Things that can it can do to take not only you know lunge on top of this thing but you know you know rip it to shreds yeah. as it's doing it, um, and that kind of means that we got to have like large areas of mm -hmm. big muscle mass combined with a, the agility maybe like yeah. thinner legs here the agility yeah. of a carnivore mm -hmm. right so I don't think that these legs would be as uniform going all the way down um, there is some tapering but it's not enough to convince me that it's a carnivore. <clears throat> um, cool. Let's start there. Uh, and you have the reference up? <laughs> and, you know, by no means are we trying to, you know, me trying to bring you down. I just hope that that's helpful. We got to um, now show her how to, you know, bring that into something that's not only carnivorous, but also tameable and somewhat intelligent. Um, so, what's a good example of that? That, that has both of those elements in, in, you know, realistic terms. Dogs, cats, those are both carnivorous creatures, right? That have a, a, a level of intelligence to them. Um, what, what else can you think of besides a dog and a cat that we can maybe think about? I forgot, somebody had deleted my folder, so all my references are on Gators. Gators. <laughs> Gators. 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 I think I think gators. I would use some of that yeah. thought, but gators aren't exactly tameable. I mean, I, I don't think your average per person would no, say no. that's tameable. I, I mean, a lot of lizards are <laughs> right, um, like an iguana maybe. But what about birds of prey? Yes, yeah. I mean, 
I think you, like you're tons. hitting carnivorous, but as far as tameable goes, Whoa. like things that are things that maybe we can use. Sort of. <laughs> All right, let's let's just let's just stop there. We'll, we'll start. We'll start on the reference guide. Right. We're trying too hard now. All right. So, um, one thing you should be doing, uh, as as I'm talking, have you guys ever heard of CGTextures.com? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And you guys are thinking about textures for your characters, maybe via that site or other sites about textures. All right. So I have to. Uh, it's it was a really good insight. com has, I think, a bunch of textures too. Do that. Um, I'm trying to think about. Uh, Free mantis. Yeah, it's not. I don't think I'm looking for textures at this point. I just wanted to make sure you guys were thinking about that. But I um, want to look uh, for a place that has a good animal reference. So, for the time being, I'll just go to I'm going to look. I'm just going to start simple. That's so cool. Definitely going for a lizard type, right? Yes. Okay. I'm not going to change that aspect. I just want to like, I'm concentrating kind of on this guy's face and things that we can do to, uh, to this guy. This is like, this is like a 28K. Just for clarity. Feel free to, uh, if I'm boring you, to uh, be working on your updates to your images. Uh, it's, what kind of lizard are you thinking? Just I was thinking of I took a lot of different ones. I was able to look. I was thinking even a little bit about big cats. Okay. You're thinking like like lion. Yeah, lions. What pleasures are? Oh man. You group your layers, I mean, you can just shut off the group and all, all those pairs out there. Don't tell me what to do. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was asking a question. <laughs> 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 I didn't say that. Brandon, who said that? <laughs> <laughs> don't blame me. Brandon will fuck you in the mouth. The only reason why I'm bringing this up, you know, usually I just um, pull from nature, more or less, but I just thought he had something cool, like what if he had glow in the dark, you know, phosphorus involved when he's about or some shit. Might be cool. Why do I keep up? <clears throat> See, 
what I kind of like about this is that you, you get the aggressive kind of spike thing, but you don't get like the, the typical rigid, you know, porcupine spike of what you people usually put on there. And that this is more of a soft kind of like, um, it, adds, it's, it lends to the silhouette, but at the same time it feels soft enough where, it, where you don't have to like, it's not his you know, main weapon, so to speak, or his main defense, his, his main weapon, or his main defense, or his, you know, his, his teeth, his mouth, and his, his muscles, his agility. So I kind of like that about it. Uh -huh. Some other, uh, what are some other cool creatures we can pull from besides the quads? Platypus. <laughs> cool creatures. <laughs> no, uh, platypus? Fuck yeah. Evil platypus. But if you're serious, you know, I'll. Platypus it up, man. I actually pulled cool. cool. had some pictures of platypus as a reference just to be out there. Really? <laughs> Alright. Maybe that's. <laughs> Let me see what they look like, because well, from what I remember, they're kind of goofy. Yeah, they're like a dangerous man with pretty much history every time, but he's doing a lot of the game. Nice county. <laughs> they got those full spurs, though. Because nothing says aggressive like beak. Yeah. Nothing says I'm going to tear your arm off like a beak. It's a flat up there. Are you looking for a seat on top of the arm? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, okay, what, what, is this going to be a land-dwelling creature? Yes, land. All right, we should scratch. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the only thing I can think of that would be useful about it is maybe if we plan on integrating fur. What about monitors or Komodo dragons or whatever they're called? Is it Komodo? Komodo. 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 The monos are actually kind of boring looking. They're very, there's not much detail they're except just, for their. They're big boring. monitor lizards, yeah. though. That's all they yeah. have. So oh. You're killing two searches with one. Have you tried a monitor? There's a, was it an orange build monitor? Those are neat. Whoa. How about a, uh, how about a bearded dragon? Sure. Bearded dragon? Bearded yeah. dragons are cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're lizards, but I mean. What's a real animal? Yeah, yes. bearded dragon. There's some interesting body texture stuff on it that I like. Very interesting body texture. Oh. Oh. That's tight. Oh, it's fucking well too. <coughs> and I think they yeah, I think they're in deserts and stuff, so. I think spit blood. There's something I wanted to take from the like, commander dragon. So let me go back to that. Put a horny toad in there. Of course they're going to find it. Yeah, those horns that are pretty cool. They're pretty cool. Oh, what are they called? Thorny doubles. Those are like nasty looking little things. <laughs> okay. Thorny doubles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Wow. Fuck yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 you like spikes <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Yeah. That, that's oh. perfect. <laughs> I need one of those. <laughs> if I did that, if I did I that, job, I would do it in a way where. Giant you know, I mean, there's elements that I think are cool. Like I like it more on his arm than I do like all over his back. I mean, we're trying to do one. One thing I do like about him is that they're not these type of you know prickly spikes that you kind of expect. They're more you know uh, conical and like and really thick at the base. You know, and then taper in very, very quickly. So I think that's an interesting silhouette, more so than just your average porcupine spike. Mating with this. 
Please look up the horny toaster. <laughs> I just want to say that. That's really cool. Yeah. Cool. 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 Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah, there are more hippo attacks in the analogy here. It's like a yeah. 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 You can see that his legs, his, his legs really don't feel like a carnivorous creature, right? Uh -huh. Like, I mean, just the thickness. We don't even look at the face. The thickness feels very kind of stumpy and um, or, or herbivorous. I know you were reluctant to put it in there, but you should try one though. <laughs> <laughs> I just did it on my computer. I have a feeling it's going to be like... No, it's not. It's more inside right. or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. No, you're right. They're on each other. Let's get back fire really fast. Yeah. Let's see if start to fire. Great, good lead. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 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 kind of cute. <laughs> My dog used to catch him. Hey. Hey, you got some horny. Whoa. Yeah, this guy's chilling. Okay, take it out. Look at it though, it's pretty. I like, the, I like the underside of them, like the change in yeah. texture from here to here. That's all the soft stuff. Is. Like the transition. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not going to uh, go too much further with this. I'm going to try to use what we've got so far because okay. it's just a waste of time <laughs> otherwise. So, and I don't have a Wacom suite, so I'll leave the reference. Um, if there's other things uh, that you can think of, go ahead and type them in. I'm sorry. We're probably going to get a bounce between the two.